Imagine two speeding cars narrowly avoiding a head-on collision on a busy highway. Now imagine the same scenario, but with two satellites orbiting the Earth at more than 17,500 miles per hour. That's what happened on Wednesday, when NASA's timed spacecraft and a defunct Russian satellite came within 66 feet of each other, risking a catastrophic crash that could have created thousands of pieces of space debris. What does this near-miss event mean for space safety? Why is it so important to prevent and reduce space debris? How can we monitor and manage the traffic in space? These are some of the questions that we will explore in this video as we dive into the background, consequences, and challenges of this close encounter in orbit. Let's start with some basic facts about the two satellites involved in the near-miss event. The first one is NASA's timed spacecraft, which stands for Thermosphere Ionosphere Mesosphere Energetics and Dynamics Mission. This satellite was launched in 2001 to study the Sun and Earth's upper atmosphere and how they interact with each other. The second one is the Russian Cosmos 2221, a defunct defense satellite launched in 1992. Both of these satellites are in low Earth orbit, which is the region of space between 99 and 1200 miles above the Earth's surface. This is where most of the satellites and spacecraft operate, including the International Space Station, the Hubble Space Telescope, and many communication, navigation, and weather satellites. The near-miss event was detected and reported by LEO Labs, a California-based company that specializes in tracking and analyzing objects in low Earth orbit. LEO Labs uses a network of ground-based radars to scan the sky and identify the position, speed, and direction of thousands of objects in orbit. LEO Labs also calculates the probability of collision between any two objects and alerts the public and the operators of any potential risks. According to LEO Labs, the probability of collision between TIMED and COSMOS 2221 was about 10%, which is very high compared to the average of 0.001%. LEO Labs also estimated that the two satellites would come within 66 feet of each other, which is extremely close considering the size and speed of these objects. To put this in perspective, TIMED is about 7 feet long and 4 feet wide, while COSMOS 2221 is about 16 feet long and 8 feet wide. Both of them are traveling at more than 17,000 miles per hour, which means that they could cover the distance of a football field in less than a second. Fortunately, the two satellites did not collide and passed each other safely. However, this was not a guaranteed outcome, as both of these satellites lack maneuverability, meaning that they cannot change their orbit or avoid obstacles. This means that there was nothing that the ground controllers could do to prevent a possible crash, except to hope for the best. So what would have happened if the two satellites did collide? Well, the answer is not pretty. A collision between two satellites would result in a massive explosion creating thousands of pieces of space debris. Space debris is any artificial object in orbit that is no longer useful or functional, such as old satellites, rocket stages, tools, and fragments. Space debris can range in size from a few millimeters to several meters. Space debris also affects various sectors and activities that depend on space-based services, such as communication, navigation, weather, and science. For instance, if a communication satellite is damaged or destroyed by space debris, it could disrupt the transmission of data, voice, and video signals, affecting millions of users around the world. If a navigation satellite is affected by space debris, it could compromise the accuracy and reliability of the global positioning system, which is used for many applications such as aviation, transportation, agriculture, and emergency response. If a weather satellite is hit by space debris, it could impair the ability to monitor and forecast the climate and natural disasters, such as hurricanes, floods, and wildfires. Space debris is not only a problem for the present, but also for the future. According to some estimates, 
there are more than 500,000 pieces of space debris larger than a marble and more than 100 million pieces smaller than that. These numbers are expected to increase over time as more satellites are launched, more collisions occur, and more debris is generated. This could lead to a scenario known as the Kessler syndrome, which is a chain reaction of collisions that creates more debris, making some regions of space unusable or inaccessible. How can we prevent and reduce space debris? This is a complex and challenging question that requires collaboration, innovation, and education. There are several existing and proposed solutions to mitigate the space debris problem, such as debris removal, collision avoidance, and regulation. Debris removal is the process of capturing and disposing of space debris, either by bringing it back to Earth or sending it to a graveyard orbit, where it will not interfere with other objects. There are several technologies and methods that are being developed and tested for debris removal, such as nets, harpoons, magnets, lasers, and robotic arms. However, debris removal is still very expensive, risky, and limited in scope, as it can only target a few objects at a time. Collision avoidance is the process of detecting and avoiding potential collisions between satellites and debris, either by changing the orbit or the attitude of the satellite, or by shielding it with protective materials. There are several systems and tools that are used for collision avoidance, such as radars, telescopes, sensors, and software. However, collision avoidance is also costly, complex, and uncertain, as it depends on the availability and accuracy of the data, the maneuverability and responsiveness of the satellite, and the unpredictability and variability of the debris. Regulation is the process of establishing and enforcing rules and standards for the responsible use of space, such as limiting the number and size of satellites requiring the deorbiting or disposal of satellites at the end of their life team and prohibiting the intentional destruction or testing of satellites. There are several international treaties and agreements that govern the activities and liabilities of states in outer space, such as the Outer Space Treaty, the Liability Convention, and the Registration Convention. However, regulation is also difficult, controversial, and incomplete, as it faces issues such as sovereignty, compliance, verification, and enforcement. The satellite near-miss event on Wednesday was a wake-up call for the space community and the public. It showed how vulnerable and crowded the space environment is, and how important it is to prevent and reduce space debris. To ensure the long-term sustainability and security of space activities, we need more collaboration, innovation, and education on space safety. We also need to be more mindful and responsible about our actions and impacts in space as they affect not only ourselves, but also future generations. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you learned something new and interesting. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.